What is going on guys? My name is Cole McLennan and today I want to show you how you can get fall tones like these out of a photo when the leaves hadn't even turned yet. So stick around to find out how. So a little bit of background around this photo. I went to New York City about mid-October with my girlfriend Maggie and it was my first time there. I had my camera in my hand almost the whole time and this was one of our portrait sessions that we did. Uh, this one happened to be in Washington Square Park, but it was mid-October and in New York City the leaves seem to turn a little bit later uh, than they do somewhere like here in Ottawa. I wanted to be able to get that fall feeling out of the photo uh, when the fall colors really weren't there. I had to figure it out for myself, but I wanted to explain to you guys how you'll be able to do it so you don't have to figure it out like I did. So if we take a look at the original photo here, you can see it's mostly just greens in, these, in this background here. Uh, I don't have to go that far, but as you can see it's it's really mostly just these dark greens and the light greens, a uh, little bit of browns back there, but those are the brownstone buildings behind. But if we go back to the edited version, you can see I really was able to brighten it up, bring out all of these fall colors, um, and I'm going to show you guys today how to do that. So if we go to this third picture here, this is just my color corrected version of it. Um, if we go to the original again and come back here, you can see that all I really did was brighten up the photo, add a little bit of contrast. Uh, and if you look over on the right side here at the basics panel, this is pretty much all I did. So I brought down the highlights, up the shadows like I normally do, bring up the whites, lower the blacks, everything that I sort of I do on almost all of my photos, um, pretty much correcting things that I made I did wrong uh, while shooting, um, and then creating a little bit of style, like bringing up the, the white balance here to make the photo feel a little bit more warm. I also went ahead and did the tone curve. I just added a little bit of contrast and a little bit of a faded look with the blacks here as I cut off the end. Um, but just mostly a, a slight S curve with uh, the, the blacks cut off there. If we look through the rest of the edits though, everything is still untouched. The HSLs, the split toning, the sharpening, everything. Uh, the chromatic aberration has been removed, but that's a pretty standard thing to do if you have that, if your lens uh, tends to do that. And then, like I said, calibration, everything else is untouched. So, how can you guys get a photo from this to this? I'm gonna show you how to do that in just three steps, pretty much. We're gonna go through the HSLs, then the split toning, and then we're gonna top it off with calibration. And calibration, if you're new to Lightroom, can be a somewhat scary topic. Uh, I took a couple months, honestly. I used to, when I was going through my photos, when I was first learning, I would just go top to bottom, go through everything, and then I'd, I'd be pretty much happy with my photo by the time I got to calibration. And I would be like moving these things around, and I'm like, I don't even know how this would make my photo better, because my photo's pretty much edited by the time it gets to this point. I'm gonna show you how to get into calibration a little bit if you're new to it, um, as well as if you're not new to it, you might know these tricks, but I'm going to show you how to use it to create these fall tones in your photos. So first thing is HSL, and the main thing we're going to be touching on uh, hue saturation, luminance, all of it is the yellows and the greens. So if we start at the, at the hues here, um, we're gonna grab these yellows, and if you move it around, you can see the back there, it really starts to warm up if you drag it to the left. So we're gonna drag this all the way over, pretty much just about to about 80 or so there. And then we're gonna bring the greens as well, just towards these uh, these yellows. So what we're doing here is we're just bringing these, these warmer tones into the photo by bringing our yellows towards uh, the oranges and then the greens towards the yellows. So we're sort of replacing those yellow tones with the greens. If we come down here to the saturations, we're gonna grab this yellow slider and add a little more orange to the photo by bringing the saturation up, uh, which happens because we changed those yellows to an orange hue. And then for the greens, this is just a stylistic choice that I like to do. I like to bring this saturation down on the greens. You can go all the way on the greens and that's a style of its own, but I didn't go quite that far with this photo. I went about 35 to 40. Um, just to sort of bring the color out of those greens a little bit more, make them look like they're dying a little bit, fall is happening, um, and we'll move on from the saturation from there. Next is luminance. I just want to make it look like this, the day was a little sunnier than it actually was. Uh, add some light to the photo, bring that background out a little bit more, make it pop a little more, um, and really bring some life to the picture with the luminance there. Nothing special, just making it a little brighter. Next thing we're going to do is get to split toning here and we're going to go to the highlights button here, this little gray square. 
Uh, it's actually a color picker and we're gonna click this pale orange photo on the uh, the highlights there and then on the shadows we're gonna do this pale blue and this is a style of mine that I like to do it's what I've done for most of my photos since I started editing on Lightroom it's that teal and orange look you add oranges to the highlights and blues to the shadows it's a pretty common photo editing technique but it's a style that I've sort of uh, gravitated towards since I started photography and it actually has some scientific roots um, you can check out Maddie Hapoya's video on that. It's an old one, but it's a good one on why it's pleasing to the eye and why uh, blue actually does do really well in terms of contrasting that orange. We're not going to go all the way here though. We're going to bring that saturation down a little bit on the blues. Go to about six to eight or so is what I like to do. But because this photo, we're trying to have it a little more orange. I'm not going to bring the saturation down on this, uh, the highlights. It's actually good where it is there. So, so far we've just gone through the yellows and the greens and the HSLs, changed the hues a little bit to add some more oranges and some yellows, uh, crushed those greens in the saturation and brought the oranges up a little bit more just to make them pop a little more in the background here. And then we just added a little more light and then that split toning like we just went through there. Now next we can go all the way down to the calibration and start playing around here. So it's actually not as hard as you might think if you're new to this. We're gonna start by just bringing the hue up on this red, just about from like seven to 10 or so. We're gonna bring the saturation down just about the same amount on the red primary as we went up. As you can see, this sort of washes out her skin tone, um, even though it's creating this a little bit more orange in the background. And a good way to counteract bringing the red hue up is to bring the blue primary down. And we're actually gonna go a little bit further than we went on the red and we're gonna go down to about negative 30 or so and we're actually gonna bring that saturation up as well now just doing those two things bringing the red primary up and the saturation down and then the blue primary down and the saturation up a little bit you've already you've pretty much done it you've already created these tones here and if we flick on and off this calibration you can see that background really just transforms out of this calibration uh, panel that's how strong calibration is, and when I when I found out that you could do stuff like this when I wasn't using it originally when I was starting photography, it sort of blew my mind. I was like, how are photographers getting these colors out of things? And uh, playing with the calibration and playing with split toning, you can really create some really cool tones and get creative in your photos. Now, of course, we can still continue to tweak things in this photo. If you look at the original edit I have, I have all sorts of changes to the other colors in my HSLs. Lots of changes in the sharpening as well. Um, and then I actually changed the shadows a little bit here too, but it's not too big of a, of a change. It's not really gonna give you those, uh, those fall colors as much, it's not as important. But if we wanted to, we can bring the sharpening up. Here I'm holding Alt to get these edges to see the black and white version of what you're actually selecting. Uh, I do this for all of the, the sliders here. We can get the sharpening up a little bit to where we want it. And then you get these nice crisp lines uh, and a nice sharp image, as long as you shot it correctly and you sort of focus properly. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. If you get those HSLs, you get the split toning, and then you also finish the calibration panel, you pretty much have made yourself some fall tones in these colors. And if we go back to the original, this is what the basic panel done here. Um, here I'm just hitting backsplash, by the way, to go back to the original. You can really see the background transform and because we didn't really touch the oranges too much or the reds her skin tone doesn't really change very much which is important to me as a portrait photographer i try to keep the skin tones pretty natural um i like to capture reality and then enhance it with editing rather than changing the whole feel and look of the image unless i'm having like i'm doing a photoshop project or something like that and i'm just totally trying to change things but as you can see here, as I flip back and forth, her skin tone isn't really changing too much other than a little bit of saturation in the oranges, but it honestly just makes her look a little bit more tanned, especially compared to this basic panel here, because I would have um, gone ahead and made some changes as well to just make it look a little more natural than this even. Um, it's mostly just background changes that are happening here. So to recap, like I said, those HSLs, the yellows and the greens, uh, you get those split tones going and then you get the calibration and you're off to the races. You have a fall photo ready for Instagram, ready to get all those likes that you can't even see anymore. But yeah, if you guys try this out, make sure to tag me on Instagram at Cole McLennan. I really wanna see them. Um, make sure to follow me there for my photography if you don't already. All those photos that I took in New York City, they're all being loaded on there. 
Um, and I'm also gonna be updating there more and more and more. So make sure to follow me there. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you have any feedback or something to add to this conversation. Uh, I'd love to hear it. And if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace. Boo -doo 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 -doo.